You can use JSDoc to mark deprecated APIs in your JavaScript and TypeScript projects. Here, for example, I have a function starts with that duplicates functionality that's now built into the JavaScript standard library. What I've done in this case is I've annotated the function with the JSDoc deprecated tag here, and then described what you should replace this function with. Now, if I hover over starts with, you can see that the at deprecated tag shows up, but let's actually take a look at how you can use deprecated to alert people that are using this API. So I'm gonna go and run find all references on this and go over to index. And you can see that here's the one place in my project where I'm actually using this starts with function. And here, what is happening is that wherever a deprecated symbol or a deprecated function or property is being used, VS Code will now render that with a strike through. So you can see that we have this really obvious strike through and saying, hey, this API is deprecated. You might want to consider switching to something else. If I go and I actually hover over the strike through, you can see that, sure enough, the deprecated tag is showing up here. So we can go and look at our existing code and see that we are using a deprecated API and we might want to migrate to something else. Now, the other thing deprecated can help you do is avoid using deprecated APIs in the first place. So if I go in here and type strings and then starts with, you can see that sure enough, in the list of suggestions here, the start with function is shown, but it's shown with a strike through. So this is a good indicator that we probably don't want to use this API and we might want to try finding something else instead. Now, if you don't like the inline deprecated highlighting here, there is a setting that you can use to disable it. So I could open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and say deprecated. And you can just uncheck the editor show deprecated warning here. And I'll go in and when I go back to the file, now I no longer have that strike through, but if I go and I hover over starts with, I can still see the deprecated message here if I'm interested in that. So that's a quick look at VS Code's new deprecated support for JavaScript and TypeScript. If you're writing a library, you can use the at deprecated JS doc tag to mark when a function or symbol should no longer be used. And if you're consuming an API, this can help you detect when you're using a deprecated API and should switch to a new one.